Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm pleased to introduce to you Mr. Ken Klotz from my district in Peoria, Illinois. Uh, Mr. Klotz is the director of the Small Business Development Center at Bradley University. Ken was recognized recently as the Illinois State Star at the annual conference of the Association of Small Business Development Centers. This award was presented to Ken for his outstanding service as an SBDC director, his commitment to serving Illinois small businesses, and his tremendous support of the Illinois Entrepreneurship Network and the Illinois SBDC. He has been with Bradley University's SBDC for over 10 years. Ken has assisted more than 200 individuals and business owners in the preparation of their business plans, resulting in the startup of 143 new businesses in the Peoria area. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and all the members of the panel, and a special thanks to my Congressman Aaron Schock for inviting me today. SBDC clients come in all flavors, from the individual who wishes to start a business to the company that has been in business for generations. And our services run from the very basic to the very complex, guiding people through the startup steps necessary to launch a business correctly, um, to helping a company uh, owner uh, diagnose cash flow difficulties and bottlenecks. All of our clients need advice on business plans, marketing, HR issues, a whole host of other issues. With the situation we are faced with today, I know government resources are uh, stretched painfully thin, so it becomes incumbent upon government to fund those programs that have proven to provide a reliable, measurable, and even a predictable return on investment of taxpayer dollars. The SBDC program historically has met that standard uh, above and beyond, every year producing a positive return on investment for the taxpayer dollar. And that's just not my opinion that's backed up by data. Every year our annual as our, um, um, nationwide association, the Association of Small Business Development Centers, commissions a study of ROI of the SBDC program. And this past year, Dr. James Chrisman a professor at Mississippi State University provided that research for us and found that for every one dollar of taxpayer investment in the program there is a return of two dollars and eighty seven cents and that's been reliably proven year after year after year. For calendar year 2008 the type of economic impact produced by the SBDC program has been dramatic. Just a few samples for you. Um, Eighty thousand new jobs created by clients assisted by SBDCs. More than 95,000 existing jobs saved in, in an environment where we're losing jobs daily. And more than 13,000 new businesses launched nationwide. Since January of 2009, my center as well as other SBDCs around the country have experienced a huge increase in demand for their services. I've attributed uh, that increase, at least at my center, to uh, job losses, um, some early retirement buyouts, and then, most distressingly, an increase in the number of small businesses that are facing financial difficulties. The uh, SBDC program and its subcenters really are already stretched very thin in terms of their resources. So handling this influx of additional clients um, is very difficult to, to deal with without additional funding resources. So um, I wholeheartedly support this legislation. Uh, job losses, it's no surprise, is at an, academic, is at an epidemic pr proportion today. And I know we see a lot of national media about large companies losing uh, workers and proposed loss of jobs at the big three automakers. But for me and, and where I live every day, it's small businesses that have experienced the job loss. Uh, the payroll processing giant ADP recently just completed a, a study for the January to February 2009 time period, and they found that 697,000 jobs were lost in the country, but a staggering 82.6 percent of those were among companies with fewer than 500 workers. We need to stop that now, and SBDCs are uniquely situated to provide the type of assistance that will allow business owners to squeeze more dollars out of their balance sheet and hope to stem those, uh, uh, the tide of the job losses. For me, the real impact of of our services is in the client success stories and I wanted to take a brief moment to share one with you today. Um, my client Valerie Lilly and her company Sophie Stitches 
In 2001, Valerie started this business from her kitchen table with a sewing machine borrowed from her grandmother. And what she would do is sew authentic replicas of medieval era clothing. And when she had enough of it, she would load it in her van, drive to a Renaissance fair in some state, sit in the parking lot and sell her, her uh, garments and then drive back home. But she really wanted to grow her business. That was her dream. So after dozens of meetings uh, with her on everything from business plans to growth strategies to financial management, um, by 2007, she had reached, uh, she had grown her company to employ 12 people and she'd crossed the $1 million mark in sales annually. She had a vibrant catalog and web um, arm, sales arm to her business and she owned Renaissance Fair booths in 14 states. No more parking lots for her. Um, now if the story stopped there, it would be a great story. But it doesn't stop there. Early in 2008, a custom men's suit manufacturer closed, putting 80 people out of work without any notice whatsoever. Um, I recall a conversation Valerie and I had where she was looking for a complimentary arm or, or product. To, and so I suggested that she purchase the assets, which she did. She started, back, started up the business again, hiring back 20 of the displaced workers, and now is on the cusp of hiring 80 more within the next six months when she lands a U.S. Army contract. That's the face of small business development centers, and I certainly urge uh, the initiatives put forth by this committee today.